for the sign of Libra hello and welcome to my channel let's see what's going on and we'll take a look at the recent past we'll talk about what's coming up for the present time we'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out the outcome so Libra in the recent past we got the Empress and it's with the eight of cups now the Empress it's showing someone that doesn't play by the rules she has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong. In any and all endeavors now, this doesn't mean that she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but you wouldn't want to make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because we know there's many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. But as the Empress, it's about encompassing any or all of them. Now it's paired with the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups, it's showing that you could have decided in the recent past to leave a situation that was no longer working for you. Whether it was a relationship, could have been a job, could have been a neighborhood. There was probably some sadness involved, but this separation, it was in your best interest. Renewed good times, they lied ahead for you, or they were ahead for you. If your gut instincts were telling you that you needed to get out of a relationship job or a living arrangement, you probably trusted yourself, or you should have trusted yourself, because instead of this, information coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you this card is an indicator that you were the one who made the choice so just know that when one door closes behind it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open so basically with these two cards paired together empress and eight of cups i'm picking up for the reason past someone that you were with dating or maybe a friend or um maybe it was a family member uh, someone just someone was really drawn to you there was a deep attraction a deep love and it looks like you moved on you might have abandoned the connection and if it wasn't a connection it could have been a situation that um, people were really fond of you but then you walked away. There was some type of deep attraction. Someone or something or a person had towards you. Deep love. That's what the Empress is about. And the Eight of Cups is saying you walked away. You moved on. You, or you just separated yourself. Or something went sour. But there was a deep love there. So let's see, it's um, saying that with the Empress here, it actually means that men and women alike, they could have suddenly found you far more attractive, both for friendship and romance. That's how the Empress is understood. It's about coming abundance, but you walked away from, a, from that situation. You withdrew, you, withdrew, you um, left it behind. So I don't know, maybe you had a lot of followers on, on social media and you, you abandoned the, um, the public eye. I don't know what happened, but there was a lot of love someone had for you and you, you moved on. So let's take a look and see what's going on for the present time. So, I'm sorry, I have some distractions here, so sorry if it seems like I'm cutting off and then coming back. Okay, so let's move on. Now we got the Hierophant, and we got the Page of Wands for the present time coming up for the second week of, of this month, August. Now the Hierophant is showing that you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. And when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters or issues, 
their empathy and intelligence puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you, Libra, or this could be someone that you know or someone that's coming towards you coming up next week. Um, this type of person, they're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers marked by integrity. Quite frankly, the Hierophant, they are the genuine article. They're a true blue, highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Now, the Hierophant is paired with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, that's a student, that's someone younger than you, could be someone immature. Now, um, if it's not an actual person, it's, it's indicating the energy of easy distraction. So it's about trying to stay focused. This card indicates that you could be starting something new. Or you could, it's indicating that things you, or it could indicate things that you started some time ago, they're starting to come to life. So it's also showing a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. It brings a really positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through. Yeah, because it's about the energy of easy distraction. You could have a lot of passion about someone or something and you're eager to continue to explore the connection or some type of situation. But with this energy of easy distraction, it may be hard to stay focused. That explains the Page of Wands. So because it's paired with the Hierophant, what we got coming up for you coming up um, second week of August, it looks like you could be looking for uh, someone that's true, genuine, or someone true and genuine is could be coming your way. Someone that you know, or it could be someone new. Now, because it's with the Page of Wands, Page of Wands, it could be about a message coming in. This could be someone uh, reaching out to you. And this person will be um, loyal, honest, genuine, like the Hierophant. So someone, I'm picking up that someone uh, could be coming towards you. This person will have a lot of passion for you, excited to explore a connection with you. And because it's with the Hierophant, this person could be moral, ethical, traditional, um, very wise. They have a lot of integrity. And it looks like um, Page of Wands is about messages. So someone could be trying to reach out to you. Could be someone you know or someone new. And like I said, this person will be like the Hierophant, really loyal and genuine. So that's what we got coming up for the present time. Coming up second week of August, could be someone you know. I'm picking up it's a new love interest. I'm picking, it, I'm picking up that's what it is, someone new, and it's a love interest. So it's a good thing because this person is the Hierophant. They don't play games. They walk the walk. They talk the talk. If they say they're going to do something... They do it. So that ought, that ought to be interested if you're if you're the type of Libras that don't really care for the game or game playing. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Two of Wands, it's about keeping your balance in every way that you can, even to the boring things like eating right getting enough rest it's indicating a partnership with another person it could be business or personal or it could be both it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for all successful relationships so when you get the two of wands if you're feeling out of balance just know that things are about to get substantially better now it's paired with the queen of pinnacles now, this card is showing that you could be thinking about spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and or advice. 
You will be able to help them if you decide to do so. This could be a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. So basically, Libra's for your challenge. Like I said, the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the person that's coming towards you, I'm, I'm picking up that uh, this could be you or this this person that's coming towards you they could have two paths towards a future so they could have two options they could be trying to make a decision between uh you and someone else maybe someone they already know and then you because if you see the picture of this two of wands it's a card above the word challenge there's two wands, one to the right, one to the left. He's more focused on the one towards the right. If you're sitting where I'm sitting, it's towards the right. And then, but he's tied to the other one with his hand. So this person I'm, I'm picking up, it could be you that's got two options and you're trying to make a decision. Should I choose this loyal person that's reaching out to me or should I go with, should I go in another direction? Because it looks like you might choose this loyal person because it looks like it feels really good that you, you met someone that come, that's coming across as real loyal and honest. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles is about, just wanting comfort, not wanting any drama. So you, you might just, you've got a decision to make. So you might just choose to be to yourself and stick with your your dog see how she's got this dog he's warming up her feet she looks like she could be sitting in a lounge chair in her backyard she's looking really comfortable she looks satisfied she's got money in the bank she's holding her a huge pinnacle in her hand and she looks just satisfied and content she's feeding the squirrels that come over and talk to her and like I said, she's got a dog that's keeping her feet warm and she looks like the money is good in the bank. So you might just choose comfort. Just comfort to yourself. But then you're trying to decide, should I go with this, this interesting, um, sincere person that's coming towards me? Because you got two options there. So it's about making a decision. So that, yeah, that could be a challenge. Yeah, you might just want comfort and then, then it looks like you're trying to decide, should I go with this, this person that's like the Hierophant that's coming my way or that's coming to my life or could be someone you know already. Um, they're telling you things that you want to hear. But then uh, maybe not because it looks like you're kind of happy just sitting in, in the backyard with the lounge chair, on the sitting on the lounge chair with your dog. It's about a decision, Libra. So that's going to be a challenge for you. S yeah, staying to yourself or probably going towards a relationship. Because there's someone reaching out, the Page of Wands. Somebody's got a lot of passion for you. That's what the Page of Wands is about. Yeah, if you're wondering if somebody's going to, if a per certain person is going to reach out, they are. And they're going to come across as being really genuine and, and sincere. But it's a challenge because you got a decision to make. So let's find out the outcome. We got the Four of Pentacles and we got the Seven of Swords. Now the Four of Pentacles it's a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it's showing anxiety and fear. If you can see the card, which is above the word outcome, that's a Four of Pentacles. This man, he's got his hands and feet on his money. He's on all fours. And if a brick came and knocked him up on his head or flopped, something hit him upside the head, he'd still be clinging on to those pinnacles. Yeah, it's about not 
letting go. If you can see his face, his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode. So he's not letting go. It's about anxiety, fear, could be about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. Now the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping like this, it doesn't bring security, it does not. Now it's with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, it can point to someone who could be behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes means prying in someone's life where you don't belong. And if you sense that someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who is giving you cause for concern, you just might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy. So Libra, the outcome, it, it looks like you got someone that that's clinging on to you really tight. Um, they're resistant to any type of change. They're resistant to let you go. They're resistant. They're being resistant. They, they're holding on to you really tight. They're afraid. They're afraid that they could lose you. So what they end up doing is with the Seven of Swords here, they end up, they, the Seven of Swords is about stalking. And they could start to play games with you. Yeah, and I'm not sure if this is someone you already know. It could be. Or it could be that this, it could be the person that you just met. Or the person that um, is coming across like, being genuine and loyal. We talked about the Hierophant. They, this person could be taking a very strong liking toward you. Yeah, because um, Page of Wands can sometimes be kind of immature. But this person wants to be loyal and genuine to you. I'm not sure if you're making a decision to just be to yourself at the present time and they're picking up on this so they might this person might start to cling to you they don't want to see you move on or make a decision elsewhere because you do have some options here so just know this person is watching you if you got pictures on social media they're paying really close attention to you and they're going to try to figure out a way not to let you slip out of their hands. Now, if this is not the person we talked about as the higher friend, it could be someone from your recent past because we, we did talk about how someone in the recent past had a lot of deep attraction for you, a lot of deep love as the Empress, but you walked away. So whoever you walked away from in the recent past, they could be stalking you, spying you, keeping tabs on you, driving past your house, trying to figure out how to get back in because someone, uh, Libra, doesn't want to let you go and you may not even know it. Could be the person from the recent past, someone new or someone that you already know. So somebody's got someone still still has a lot of mojo for you. Yeah, they 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 have no intentions of letting you slip through their fingers. Maybe you did it once, maybe you did it once. But if it's that same person, they're still holding on. It could be in a, in an unhealthy way. So they they start to stalk you and do a lot of watching you. And like I said, you may not even know it. So, Libra, that's the reading that I have for you coming up for the second week of August. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks so libra there's also going to be a link below for personal readings i'm not sure if i just said that if you want to try one of those 
Thank you so very much for watching. So very much for watching. So very much for watching.